Hey, hey artists! Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to paint some beautiful orange tabby cat fur. I love orange cats. I grew up with one and they're always such a delight and they have beautiful fur. So let's learn how to paint orange tabby cat fur. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be working with oils as per usual, but I know you can get the same effect with acrylics. I did for years. Highly recommend working with a slow drying medium though. So the colors I'm going to be using here are going to be ivory black, burnt umber, titanium white, burnt sienna, and a tiny little bit of yellow ochre. Plus my favorite glazing medium of all time, liquid original by Winsor Newton, and a handful of brushes. So I'm just starting off here by very roughly mapping in a sort of sketch, really light with the pencil here, not much to map out. Basically, I'm just kind of drawing in where my major contours are going to be. And that's pretty much it. And then we're going to be able to get painting. This tutorial is brought to you by the Wildlife Painting Academy. You can learn more about it in the description of this video. All right, so like usual, I like to start with the darkest parts of my painting first. This helps me sort of map out where everything's gonna go. And because we're starting really dark, we're not gonna have these contrast issues down the road. So with a really large brush, basically I'm just going in with my dark paint and starting to pop in those deepest shadows. Next up, I'm going to start to add some of that lighter fur. So I've got a little bit of warmth happening here with burnt sienna, but mostly it's going to be a mixture of burnt umber, titanium white, and that burnt sienna to add a bit of that warmth. And I'm going to start to add in where some of those shadows are going to be, but also those beautiful stripes that tend to make up that orange tabby cat fur. Don't worry about any detail at this phase. We are going to make it look all beautiful and soft later. Rough brush strokes are totally okay at this point in the game. Basically, we want to get every inch of that canvas covered, but not worrying about detail quite yet. We'll get there. So now I'm kind of filling in the spots between those stripes. Definitely added more titanium white here in order to make a lighter tone and just paying attention to a reference photo so I can kind of see the direction that fur grows in as well as like the volume. So cat fur tends to be a little fluffier, a little softer. So making sure that I'm paying attention to those qualities as well. So I felt like I lost a little bit of those dark stripes and shadows. So I'm just going in and reinforcing that a little. All right. So now this is where some of the magic starts to happen. I'm going to grab a dry brush and we're going to do some blending. So as you can see here, basically what I'm doing is with a really light hand, I'm taking a dry brush and just stroking it lightly on that wet paint flowing in the direction that the fur grows in. And you can see how this already creates a really amazing base for our fur. It's making it look super soft already, super beautiful. And now it's setting us up to create some really great detail. So now I grabbed a small round brush here and I'm just going to go in with the different tones that we've mixed up using our colors and starting to build up some detail. So when I'm starting to work with detail, I like to use a little bit of painting medium. Sometimes I use paint thinner in order to thin out my paint a little bit, and it just allows it to flow more nicely. So you actually get these nice sweeping smooth lines that are going to make up those individual hairs instead of having paint that's too thick and you're going to end up with really choppy lines. So add a bit of medium or even use paint thinner. So I'm adding a little bit more burnt sienna here. It's a really beautiful rust color just to add a bit more color, a bit more pop while I'm building up that detail.
So now I'm going in and detailing with a highlighting shade. So I added a lot more titanium white to my different tones here. So it's a lot more bright light. And I'm going in with that same small round brush and I'm just going to town and detailing all of that beautiful fur. It's really important that you keep your eyes on a reference photo. The reason why is because fur can be really unpredictable and you really want to pay close attention to not only the direction that the fur flows in, but the length, the texture, the actual shape, how the fur sticks together. All that stuff is really important for creating realistic, beautiful fur. Now I'm going in with a little bit of pure titanium white on my brush here. I thinned out with a bit of paint thinner so that it flows really nicely. And I'm adding in some brighter highlights just to make things pop. All right, so I put my painting aside for a few days so it was completely dry. And now we're gonna do some glazing. I added a little blob of my gla favorite glazing medium of all time, Liquid Original by Winsor & Newton. And I'm adding a tiny bit of burnt sienna to that glaze. So you can see me mixing it up here. And basically we are gonna be adding a thin wash of this to our entire painting. So I'm grabbing a large brush, loading it up with my glaze on my completely dry painting and adding that nice thin layer over the entire thing. And you could just see how much this pops. It brings in so much more color and richness without obscuring any of your hard work that you've done below. Kind of feels a little like a painting cheat code to me, which is why I love this technique so much. So now into that wet glaze layer, I'm going to go ahead and add my final layer of detail. So I'm just going in with that small round brush again and wherever I think I need a little bit more detail, I go ahead and add it. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you found this super helpful on learning how to paint realistic orange tabby cat fur. I love the way this turned out. I think it's so pretty, so soft, so vibrant, all that good stuff. Now, if you wanna learn how to paint other animals or other fur types, I have tons of other tutorials on my channel. So make sure you click this next video to go to the next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Stay magical, my friends.